it's a there it goes. Can't really see it. I can just see them blowing. There's a whole yeah. bunch of them. Yeah, there's a bunch out there. Yeah. I'm thinking this will forever be known as the day we went hiking. We've already been on two trails. And then we're going on this one. 4.7 miles on 900 feet of elevation gain. The uh, Cape Lookout Trail. It's an out and back. Make it all the way. Uh, Maggie didn't come on this one either. I think she was the smart one. Maybe. We're going to go see. It's supposed to rain the next two days, so we're trying to get in as much of the outdoor activity as we can. See how far we get. It's beautiful up here. That's way up in the sky, though. We've got three choices. Cape Trail, 2.4 miles out to the point. Mm -hmm. North Trail, which just runs along the ocean. Not sure. Looks like the a camera right there. Yeah, come back down. And then we can do the South Trail, which looks like it goes down. So I think we go out. 2.4 miles Yeah. to the viewpoint. Right. And then 2.4 miles back uphill. Right, that makes 4.8. Crap. I don't know you can add. Can you walk 4.8 miles? Mm -hmm. I was waiting in the undertow Set adrift with featherway light bulbs Unaware of where my heart would flow I was waiting in the undertone. Can't touch the bottom. I said demographic. I didn't say demographic. <laughs> I said demographic. Get into <laughs> a tumble. Okay, oxygen is getting to be low. Waves that shake me out. Pretty muddy trail. Out of my skin. Never Not for the faint so of heart, easy. for sure. We were told that the trail. Got to be Losing my dust. quite a lot of roots, and they're very slick. Where the trees, their roots. I've been wrong before. I was waiting in the undertow. So why do we like to hike so much? I, don't know. I like being outside. I like being. Feeling like I'm in nature. Mm -hmm. um, I like to breathe the fresh air and mm -hmm. see all the green trees. I love the trees. Yeah, yeah, you do. I just like being outside and like getting exercise. It makes me feel better. It keeps but, you in better shape too, doesn't it? Yeah. So why do you like to hike so much? Because you do. <laughs> <laughs> Let these people go by here. <laughs> well, I'm just being truthful. <laughs> You're saying you don't really yeah, like college football on right now, but we're out here. There is. Yeah. So you're saying you really don't like to hike? No, actually, you, I have learned to probably love it even more than you do, but I didn't at first. It's kind of been a thing where, you know, when you're married, you kind of melt into one person, and apparently, the person we've melted into likes to go hiking. I like, I love to go hiking. It's really I cool. I have, though. But it's, it's such a cool thing to do. And it's a neat way to see different areas. And, you know. Definitely um, see a lot more than you would if you're just sitting in the car. Yeah. Or if you're just visiting towns and stuff. But just... I like doing that, too, though. I mean, we both like doing that. We like being in our towns. But being out like this is awesome. How are you going to do this? Don't slip. Maybe come back here and go around that way. Just step down in the mud right here. I'm going to go over here. I guess. It's pretty, it's pretty iffy. Mm -hmm. That's probably pretty smart, too. Yeah. I know. Whoa! <laughs> 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 
That was a little dicey. Uh, I'm thinking I may have to wash my pants after this this hike. Maybe not. They may come clean again. Whew. Stupid me, that girl just went by. I thought she had an ice cream cone. I was going to wonder how she kept an ice cream cone. But it was an apple. Look like an ice cream cone. My eyes are blurry from walking. <laughs> I'm having hallucinations. Hallucinations. Do your Tarzan thing. <laughs> I did practice. You did practice? You need to practice? I did. You did practice because you knew I would ask you to do that again. Yeah. No, no, I was just like, I had to, like, go up and down. Oh. I was doing all kinds of It's like you're beating yourself in the chest. Yeah. It's yeah. good. Yeah. I guess so. We've really gone inland now. I don't think point. it's inland, is it? Maybe we're way up in the air. No. Yeah, we'll see when we get in. We're a long ways away from the water right now because you cannot hear the waves at all. Well, we're supposed to see the water on this side. We are. If we make it that far. By the way, we haven't turned around yet. You can't tell from this video how tired we are and how much we put into this hike. This is not going to do justice to this, but I'll walk over to the edge. It is pretty far down there. <laughs> There's the view. Wowzer. <laughs> Look at that. At first yeah, there's a bunch out there. As it goes down. So, you know, we said we love going on hikes, and hikes in different places bring different payouts. You know, there's a, there's a payback for doing a hike like this. And usually it's the view, and usually it's the fresh air, and the time we get to spend together. But every now and then, you can come around a turn, and someone from Florida will say, look, there are whales out there. And not just one whale, but a dozen or more whales out there that are just coming up and we stayed there we stayed there and talked to that couple for i don't know 20 minutes or so just watching the whales come up and, you know i'm not sure how much of the, the footage is going to be usable we uh, have the little bitty uh, hx80 camera and i'm not sure if the zoom is going to catch it but if it does it's wonderful there's no way that it's going to be able to capture how happy we were though about just being able to stand up on this cliff and watch all those whales go by. It was phenomenal. See you later, dude. Thanks for the show. Over in the distance is Cape Kowanda, and that's 
where we'll be probably either tomorrow or Monday. Pretty cool to be able to see that far down the coast of Oregon. That was awesome. There's nothing better than having that kind of payoff for a, for a hike. And the whales swimming right beside of you as you hike to the end of the peninsula. We'll stop again and look. It's just right here. You can see where it blew up the steam right there. Blue air. There it is. There's a boiling hole. See the, uh, the oil slick still coming this direction. And this guy's been following us all along this, this little ledge. We're about to make the end of the point, which means we should be able to see the north side of the bay and the south side of the bay at the same time. I don't know why I said bay. This is actually the Pacific Ocean. So we'll be at the very end of the Cape. Did you hear that? There it is. <laughs> There's another one right back over here. It's this incredible. This is this is probably gonna end up being the best hike ever. Definitely today. It's gonna be the best hike ever. I wasn't sure I could make it to the end, but it's like these whales were saying, come on, man, you can make it. You can make it. I'll keep you motivated. And they are. Let's go. Third week. <laughs> so what do you think? Step, crackle, pop. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think this is a not a moderate trail. This is a difficult trail for sure. Yeah. And... It may end up being our favorite trail we've ever been on. You think? I don't know. We've already seen whales. I know. Pretty cool. Beach. And we get to see the cape from both sides when we get to the end of this. All kinds of reasons for this to be our favorite trail. It is a long trail. I was waiting in the undertow. Set a trip fed away like On a way. I think we made it. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Is this it? Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. I did, I got it. view from our hike walking back back into the sunset so on this hike it's been pretty muddy we've shown you several places looking at our head here's the view we're using this as an excuse to let some people get ahead and to rest we recommend you wear waterproof hiking shoes on this thing. We saw one woman barefoot. I guess maybe she had shoes on that she wanted to take care of. We actually saw one lady with ballet shoes on. I don't understand that at all. We've seen a lot of brand new tennis shoes that will never be brand new again. Uh, and we've seen a lot like us that have hiking boots on that are waterproof. I'm going to shut up talking because I want to show you what we're looking at right now. This is the north side. And you can see, man. If you look down there, there's And way out in the distance, the three arches and Oceanside and the uh, houses that are there. And then if you look down, like Ben said, we've got waves crashing into the shore. It's a, it's a fantastic hike. 
I think we already both agree this is gonna this is the best hike we've ever been on. We're gonna keep going. As you can see it's pretty muddy here, but you know, not anything like some of the places we've just come through. Prepare for a hike like this. We prefer to uh, not bring any water and not carry the extra weight, but I believe that may have been a mistake on this one. Some crackers and a uh, cold drink of water would have felt really good on this one. So. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> I say that as I slide down. I know, I saw that. Jeez. Do you see the dolphins? Hey, there's some mushrooms out here, sweetheart. I think I took those on the way in. You did, you took pictures. All right, they're still there. So what do you what do you want to tell everybody about this hike? <laughs> Look, they do. She's a little sweaty. I am too. So what I'd like to say is. At most, you probably should do just one hike before you do this one in the same day. If you're a young whippersnapper, doing three hikes in one day, that might be okay. But for Lynn and I, and anyone who's, you know, around the same shape as we're in right now, uh, it was probably overkill to do two hikes before we came to this hike. One of those what were you thinking kind of deals. But that's okay. It appears that we're going to make it back to the van, and the ranger, we will celebrate. He uh, says you can't sleep there, and I don't mind moving, but the ranger may have to drive the van. I believe I'm going to crash, at least for a while. This has been strenuous. But, those orcas that we got to see, oh man, that was worth it. That made it worth it for sure. Even if I have cramps all night long while I'm sleeping, I'll still be dreaming about those orcas. It was worth it. We don't usually record a lot on our hikes back to the van, but this time we're trying to show you as much as we can. Because I've got a feeling when we vote, this is going to be end up being our most favorite hike ever. And that says a lot since we Really, really, really enjoyed the hike in Valdez. I'll put a link to that hike right here so you guys can watch that one too if you haven't done that. But this is the pavement at the top. And of course, like dummies, we parked. <laughs> At the bottom, at the, it was completely full. We parked at the bottom, but we'll declare this one a victory. Yay! We made. It. Oh man, that was a that was a not an easy hike. I don't even know if that was a moderate hike. It says it's moderate on all trails. Maybe for a 21 year old. 60. I think so. I thought it was. Yeah. There should be a rating okay for 62 year olds. No. No? <laughs> we made it. That's all that counts. And we're glad you watched. If this is your first time watching us, we'd appreciate it if you would uh, consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Stay in touch with us and leave us a comment down below. Tell us what your favorite hike is so we can go do that one too. Thanks for being part of the journey. It's, it's been almost four hours 
and she sees us and she's looking out the window. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, you, you need to be really glad you didn't go. Oh man, you wouldn't have made it. Hey, I know. What? Did we leave you for a long time? I didn't mean to. I think you should be glad that you didn't go. <laughs> You can get it. <laughs> <laughs>